talk about our 30 years of bull sales here on property. Jack Atkin, my uncle, started his stud here in February 1969. I did buy a cow that year. It took me um, two weeks of tractor driving to pay for that first cow. But anyway, that's where it started. It started off as a auction in the melon shed. We were growing melons, rock melons in those days. And we ran a, an open day in conjunction where we had key industry speakers. In the 80s, got fairly involved in the show ring, doing all the local shows, and we grew on from there. My philosophy is always cows. The cow is the most important part. You don't get a good calf without a good cow family. I guess my experience of bull sales and just the people is and visiting them and seeing what they do in their program and you can always learn something off someone and it's just been the friendship as much as the delivering a product that suits their requirements but that network that you have between yourselves and sharing ideas and seeing what works and what doesn't work and always trying to improve what you do and that's certainly been a rewarding part of the whole journey. It's trying to just work collectively and deliver what people want. It's a good opportunity to work out what brings value to their operation when you go and see it. Yeah, I guess we see the uh, the seed stock herd as the trial herd for our product to go out there and do a job and, and bring value to those clients, whether it be extra growth or, or more live calves on the ground or a bit of value at the carcass on the hook. So it's such a great experience interacting with these people. One bull in particular that's got 16 sons in the sale that certainly flowed on over years and years of performance recording is Baldridge Beast Mode and, and to get that level of carving ease and fast growth without the extreme frame size I think commercial people are going to get a lot of value out of, out of those genetics. There's 11 sons of Sijin Enhance. We used him for his docility Carving ease is good, muscling is good, his feed efficiency is in the top 1%. When you try and find a bull that's got carving ease, growth, feed efficiency and, and IMF, there's bugger all bulls that come close to him and on those traits and he's got a lot of other great attributes to him and there's three sons in the sale. I suppose with the, uh, the change in the times, we're transitioning now to a more of an online marketplace uh, this year with elite auctions. We've had them all independently structurally assessed and a real big profit driver is from what we see with our clients and, and, and particularly with what we do um, internally is not only having the crush side semen test but the morphology. So we've had all our bulls morphology tested, genomics to have them sire assured, sire and dam. Someone said, where do your bulls go? And I said, oh, throw a handful of rice at Queensland and that's about where they go. They go all over and it's been a great journey. Met a lot of great people and all along the way we've tried to produce what our commercial man can make money out of, what he wants. And that was, you um, know, they want bulls that are get out and work and they last, they get calves and they're making money out of those calves. We've certainly enjoyed the last 30 odd years of sales and, and come August 11th, um, we're proud to offer these 108 bulls and uh, if you'd like to inspect the bulls prior to the sale, feel free to get in contact with us or any further information you'd like, we're more than happy to help. So, so thank you very much and all the best.